Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Tamur Jan. I am a first semester SE student here in Comsets University of Arkand. My roll number is SP22BSE039. And today in this topic we will discuss about Khilafat moment. So in detail we will discuss that when did Khilafat movement started, the reasons of Khilafat movement, goal of Khilafat movement, how did it evaluate and what was the outcome, each and everything in clear perspective. So what is Khilafat movement? Khilafat movement also known as uh, Islamic uh, movement or Caliphate movement. It was a socio-religious movement by the Muslims of subcontinent when the British divided the sacred Ottoman Empire, hence breaking the vow they made with the Muslims pre-war. So they made a, uh, a vow with the Muslims pre-war that if they cooperate with them in the World War first, uh, so they will, the British government will not uh, do any harm to the, uh, to the Ottoman Empire, which was a sacred empire to of the Muslims at that time. The main reason was that the British Empire have divided most of the lands of the sacred Ottoman Empire between Europe, France, Greece, and Armenia was established. So when they lost, uh, so when Ottoman Empire lost the First World War, the major, the British Empire tried to divide the lands of the Ottoman Empire in between their allies. So after all of those, uh, after all of those activities, the Ali brothers, Molana Muhammad Ali Johar and Molana Shokat Ali started started a Khilafat movement in trying to defend the Ottoman Empire. So how is as we discussed it that when the British government pre-war had an agreement with the Muslims of subcontinent uh, because they were going against the holiest uh, empire of the Muslims. So they had an agreement with the Muslims that if they um, cooperate with them during the World War I, uh, they will not do any harm to this, hence breaking the vow, they divided all the parts of the Ottoman Empire. So Khilafat movement started in 1919 because World War I ended, resulting in a loss for the central powers. The allied powers decided to impose sanctions on Ottoman Empire and divide Ottoman Empires uh, between British allies. The main goal was that the Ottoman Empire should be kept intact and all the lands of it should be given back. So the Muslims here in the situation were trying to defend uh, the war they, they made with the British government. So they were trying to say to the British government that they should kept intact and they should value the agreement they made with them pre-war. Control of the holy places will not be given to non-Muslims. So one of the major reasons was also that the control of no Muslim places, Muslim holy places were given to to non-Muslims, like uh, the Allies were all non-Muslims, so one of the most holiest places of Muslims, like the, the Palestine, Jerusalem, were given to France. So one of the major reasons was also that Muslim majority lands to be not given to anti-Muslim empires. Muslim majority lands should not be given to uh, anti-Muslim empires, such as France were taking the lands, uh, British took the lands of it, Greece took some lands. So they were uh, they were trying. To give, uh, they, basically, they were just trying to give, kept uh, the Ottoman Empire intact. The Treaty of Severus was a treaty signed uh, in 1920 between the Allies of World War One and the Ottoman Empire. So, in this treaty, it was decided that uh, in the Treaty of Severus, it was decided that Allies can occupy any part of Turkey at will. The new state of Armenia in the Treaty of Severus was established. Uh, places like Syria, Iraq, Jordan were separated from the Ottoman Empire. So Muslims were not happy over this, treatment, over this treaty and development in Turkey. So basically the Treaty of Severus was one advantage taken by the Allied powers uh, due, to the weak, due to the weak situation of the Ottoman Empire. After the World War I, the Ottoman Empire was, was weakened and they took advantage of that thing and they tried to, then they forced them to try to sign an agreement uh, and sign a treaty with them. And then they should, and they took places uh, willingly from them to England. December 1919, both the, commi the Khilafat Committee and the Congress held their meeting simultaneously at Amrish. A delegation was prepared, which was sent to England under the leadership of Maulana Muhammad Johar to see the British Prime Minister, Cabinet Member, and Members of Parliament. 
the leader of delegation addressed the house of commons and saw the british prime minister lord george who played no heed to the delegation's demand so basically the british prime minister the members of cabinet and the members of parliament ha had no interest and they they did they in fact they didn't even listen to them that what they were trying to explain and they were unsuccessful from day one because they had no interest in that the delegation stayed at london for 8 months and won many hearts and sympathies of people in britain delivering speeches however the delegation returned to india unsuccessful in october 1920 so non cooperation moment 1920 by mahatma gandhi so boycott against the british after the unsuccessful visit to england the leaders of khilafat movement realized the fact that the british were not in the mood to help them so they realized it after the delegation's failed vi visit so when the leaders of khilafat movement announced the non cooperation movement the congress extend its full support to the khilafat movement many lawyers resigned from their jobs as bycards of legislature and court all uh, as the legislature and court was under the government of british so they were trying to bycard british in a sense all those highly educated young men who could have uh, rose to a high government position bid farewell to their bright future and accepted ordinary jobs in private sector so they were like they in in all sense they were trying to uh, to impose loneliness on the british government and they were trying to boycott in every aspect the vacuum created in government offices was joyful filled by in by the hindus while the muslims government employees willingly accepted reservation for the sake of muslim cause so hindus here uh, took advantage of the situation so muslim uh, resigned all of their important jobs important posts uh, that they were having so hindus willingly accept those and uh, once again muslims was betrayed here Uh, for the, uh, and muslim took this starvation for the sake of the muslim cause students boycotted schools and colleges and parents took them out of the school so parents willingly parents willingly took them out of schools uh, and uh, they were trying to play with their futures boycotts by the muslims the non cooperation movement was started and it was launched in 1920 by mahatma gandhi Indian revokes their cooperation from the British government with the aim of uh, inducing the British to grant self-government. So basically, the Indians were trying to uh, trying to force British in a peaceful manner to give them a self-governance and leave the Indians uh, for their own good. The movement aimed at resisting the British rule through non-violence. Activists refused to buy British goods, used only handicrafts, and picked liquor shops. the goal was to uphold indian honor and integrity in a peaceful manner thousands of common citizens realized the cause and it was uh, the first large scale movement in the history of indian independence in 22 chorachor is, is a small village in gorakhpur district of uttar pradesh on february 5 1922 the policemen uh, fired at few demonstrated in which uh, they retaliated and uh, burned the police station resulting in several fatalities including 22 policemen were were dead in that situation gandhi ji had all through the go, uh, through the movement emphasized on peace and non violence this incident deeply hurt him and he called off the movement however the british um, uh, british government do get the victim they wanted and on march 9 or march 10 1922 he was arrested and sentenced to 6 years of imprisonment a unique uh, was a unique plan uh, set up by the muslim leaders so these are movements was launched against the aggressive policies of british government and for the restoration of ottoman empire so this movement made the muslims uh, delusioned with the khilafat movement due to the declaration of hindus of india as darul harab uh, so they tried to call muslims uh, to boycott everything and try to uh, try to force them to migrate to afghanistan a large number of muslims migrated from sindh and nwfp to afghanistan although qaidism was not in favor of that so the afghan authorities did not allow them to cross the border after this tragic event those who want uh, those who had advocated the hijrat movement came to realize their mistake which resulted in failure of a movement Uh, 1924 in 1924 kamal uh, mustafa kamal ataturk set up a government on a democratic basis in turkey abolishing the khilafat system which was the main goal of khilafat movement uh, so he basically abolished a caliphate system a kingdom system that was coming in uh, uh, ottoman empire and he set up a democratic a democracy a democratic basis government so that struck up a 
the first and the main goal of Khilafat movement. So after that, Muslims of subcontinent uh, paid no interest in that because uh, a government was set up in, in Turkey and they seem to have lost interest and they thought that there was no need of Khilafat movement going on. So it was, however, it was a failure, but and this whole Khilafat movement had one big advantage to Muslims that was that for the first time in such a large number all the Muslims were all the Muslims and India were on the same page and run such a long campaign for a large uh, for a long uh, time because it was around six years that the Khilafat movement stayed so it was a major uh, it was a major a major advantage for them in a sense that it was uh, it was a first time experience for them Thank you so much for listening and Allah Hafiz.